We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Kansas City Royals. Mickey Mantle, the league's top home run hitter, will look to widen his lead atop that board next. Brett Saberhagen will be the starter for the Royals in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, this guy's been throwing the ball really well. He picked up his 10th win of the year in his last one, and he'd like nothing more than to make it two good ones in a row and pick up his win number 11 today. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Ozzie Smith. He begins this one with the fourth best batting average in the National League. This guy can do just about everything when he's in the lineup. In the top five in the league in runs scored, and he's a big part of this offense. So there's more to this guy than just swinging the bat. He can get on base, too. Lifted down the line in left, and that will end up a foul ball. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Count still full, three and two. Temperature reading an even 80 degrees at first pitch tonight. Now here's a shot out to right center field. Around first, he's digging for second. And he will make it there as the Cardinals get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. That's what you want your leadoff hitter to do every time. He wastes a lot of pitches, makes the pitcher work, then to cap it off, he drives one for a double. That might be one of the best at-bats we'll see all game long. Standing in now, Ina Slaughter, ball four. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that, that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count, and the yelp thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. The next to bat for St. Louis, Rogers Hornsby, and a chance to add to his National League RBI lead if he can deliver right here. Yeah, that's kind of surprising to me. I mean, he's a good player, but I don't think many pegged him as one of the best run producers in the game coming into this year. But he's having a breakout year, no question about it. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. They've had it go in the last 10 games. They're 7-3 and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Right. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Hit the other way out toward right field. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. That's really cool. unfortunate there. Obviously, the runner at second base was going to score easily, but it's possible they could have waved the runner around from first as well. We'll never know, though, as he's forced to hold the runner at third because of the ground rule double. At the plate now, Jim Edmonds. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. So now to the plate, Stan Musial. A little bit outside, two and one. So far this season with runners in scoring position, Musial has an eye-grabbing batting line, one that resides above the 340 plateau. 
You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting averages through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Working for the punch out and the offering. Late on that one as it's foul off to the left side. Ready with the payoff pitch. Slow roller left side. A play at the plate and they'll nail him at the plate as he's tagged out. That is good. Sort of a the daring move there the going box. for the plate, but Albert. it didn't pay off. It was hit softly, but it gets scooped up quickly and fired home on target. Ideally, you want to go home like that on a ball that's hit beyond the pitcher's mouth. At the plate, Albert Pujols. And a great chance here for the Cardinals to add on in just the first inning. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk of the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Stepping up now, Yadier Molina. He could really open this lead up early if he can deliver here with the bases loaded. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. Boy, Dero, you have to be licking your chops sitting in a 3-1 count to get a fastball. He gets it and doesn't miss it. Yeah, and one, and Dan, that's what you strive for. Find count leverage situations where you can be aggressive. Process of elimination tells you he's got to come fastball or something over the heart of the plate, and he didn't miss it. At the plate, Lou Brock. Down oh. low, two balls and a strike. Well, this is starting to feel like a make-or-break moment in this game. When you're playing a first-place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Musial at third. Pujols over at second. Molina at first. Two out in the inning. That's on the outside corner. Count two and two. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Fouled off. Here's the two and two. Cue shot here out towards short. Sandberg's got the throw, and the side is retired. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Cardinals two, KC coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bob Gibson, the Nebraska native, will be the starter on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy's having a real solid season up to this point. And I know he'd like to get one more notch in his belt to get to that 200 Ks on the season. He's awfully close, so you'd have to think in the back of his mind he'd like to punch out a few here and get into that 200 K club for the year. Into the box now, Ryan Braun. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A two and one oh. count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, Maddie, I can't tell you how important it is to throw that first run up on the board. And that's exactly oh. what they did. A little crooked number, a two oh. spot oh. to give their pitcher a chance to relax and go out and pound the strike zone. This team has been playing red hot baseball recently. 
That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, three and two. Count is full. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line in right, but this will wind up being a foul ball. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Batting second. The shortstop. Ruffin. Yo. So next to the plate for the Royals, Robin Yao. He also had three hits in the win last night. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Bases are empty, one man out. That misses and we're even at two and two. And a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. Hurt. That's the ultimate the challenge pitch. And Gary. for me personally, watching Carter. hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. To the plate now, Gary Carter. No, no. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. All even now, two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Musual is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Royals go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. Second inning set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Matt Carpenter. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ready on one and two. Ball two. This is on the ground over to first. Perez fields it cleanly. Out. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the, the second. Batter, number one. Shortstop. Ozzy Smith. Settling in now. Ozzy Smith. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. The white field. So coming to the plate, Ina Slaughter. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now the 2-1. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Here's a fly ball, well hit. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Cardinals as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Mickey Mantle. He currently sits atop the home run leaderboard and seems to be heating up even more here in the dog days of August. 
This guy has been on absolute fire. You get on a run like this, you want to show up to the yard at 1 o'clock in the afternoon for a 7 o'clock game. This guy is prepared, ready to go, and seeing the ball like it's a beach ball right now. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and bounced toward Rogers Hornsby at second. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Tony Perez. So digging in now, Tony Perez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The one two fouled away. The next one two pitch. Ball. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it, got it to bend a lot, and by the, the time it got there, it had fallen Joe. completely out of the zone. Right. Not much you can do with that pitch. Into the box, George Brett. Ball. Now a sinker's low off the outside corner. Two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2-1 home. No, off the plate. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three-ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Two out, nobody on. Now here's a drive out to right center field. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Let's take another look at just a textbook is, swing right there. Good the right weight field. transfer. Get good ready. hands to the ball. Solid contact and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Ready now, Gary Sheffield. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. Swing and a miss, strike two. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Riding in once again, Rogers Hornsby. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Up next to the, the Cardinals number the four hitter field. Jim Edmonds looking to put the ball Edmonds. in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat and you can live with punching out with the bases empty. But in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position you cannot go down not putting the ball in play too much on the line too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in now that bat. spot. 
Left Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d row and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. And he fouls this one off. Ready to deliver the one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Runners on first with one down. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch making this guy work out on the mound. Here's the 2-2. On a rope to the second baseman. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. Up next to the Cardinals, the first baseman, Albert Pujols. Digging in, Albert Pujols. He drew a walk his first time up. Two out with the man at first. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Damon will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Cards leave one. They're up two to nothing. We're back as the Royals prepare for their at-bats here in the third. This lineup has been a huge bright spot for the ball club this season. In fact, with the highest team batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage in all of Major League Baseball, it's probably safe to say they have the absolute best offense in the sport these days. As one player told me earlier, yeah, I mean, you don't have to dig too deep into the stats to understand the level we're playing at. We have a special group, we know it, and we still think we can get better. Safe to say no one else around the league hopes they can, guys. Thank you, Heidi. The 1-1. One, one. is a fastball no, that misses. Down. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Left fielder that really never had a chance at no, that one at all. It was Johnny. over his head before he knew it. Bouncing Dang off man. the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Coming to the plate now, Johnny Damon. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Three and two, a full count to the Royal center fielder. Count is full. Three, two. Three two pitch making him sweat out there the seventh pitch coming up and whoa awfully close but it's ball four according to Woody Keller the left fielder number eight Ryan. So striding in, Ryan Braun. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. Too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. 
a time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Smith is there. Throw to Hornsby. On to first, and they get the double play. Now batting. Oh, that's Not a rally stop. killer right there. Well, they were in great shape with two on and no. nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Digging in now for Kansas City. Robin Young, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Outside with the fastball as the count two moves one. to two and one now. Three That's and one to Robin Young. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And he missed with it there, ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. And that's two free passes in the third the inning alone, so you the have captain. to wonder if maybe it's something Gary. mechanical or if it's just Carter. psychological. Got to get back on track here. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Gary Carter, 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1 1 it is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Fouled off. Runners on first and third, two away. Ball. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Payoff pitch home, and it's fouled away. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Yadier Molina. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Grounded to third. Taken in by Brett. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batter. Designated. In here. now. Lou Brock. Brock. Two and two count. Here it comes. Lifted down the line in left. And that's going to land foul. Here now the 2 2. Ball. Down is Matt ball. Carpenter two, two. will be next. The 3 2 pitch. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3 and 2. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Braun will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the, the second base, out of the inning. 13. 
Here's yeah. Matt Carpenter. Carpenter. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Two balls and a strike to Matt Carpenter. Two runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And another foul ball. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals, but they hold a 2-0 lead. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mickey Mantle. He's been sending souvenirs into the seats at a record clip. If he manages to keep on to this pace, he could end the year with over 75 home runs. And I would love nothing more than to see him do it. This is historic. This is why you pay the price of a ticket. You want to see this guy get his four at bats. Can't tell you how monumental it would be for not only him, but for the game to see him get to 75 home runs. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. So a base hit for him has him aboard to start out there half of the fourth as we take a look at the league leaderboard in hits. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Stepping in now, Tony Perez. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. And they are able to get the out at first, but more importantly, let's hope he's okay on the mound. And time now to That's see okay. quite where That's that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. One away for the Royals here in the fourth. And up next, it'll be the Hall of Famer, George Brett. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. Inside, ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Working for the punch out and ball. the offering. Ball and there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Brett gets a hold of one to right field and deep. Looking up is the right fielder to the track to the wall. Gone! George Brett scores a pair with that home run. Number 10 for him on the year as the Royals have climbed back to tie things at two. certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark then you better get on the gas and that's what he did right there that fastball was not sneaking by him standing in now Gary Sheffield unable to get the bat around in time and the count evens at two and two now here it comes mine to the right side that gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Up next to the wall. And now time will be called the here as you see the pitching hit. coach making oh, his way yeah. out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Denver.
Into the box now. Ryan Sandberg. Mm, Might have gone after ball four there as this one's fouled away off to the right. And oh, oh. whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Up next to the Royals. The center fielder. Into the box. Johnny, Johnny Damon reached base Damon. via the walk in his first plate appearance. Steal, right. And a double steal try here. Popped him up. Pujols has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Now batting. Let's so the batting order turns oh, over yeah. now and set to go Ryan oh. Braun. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. The 1-1. One, one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. High in the air. Carpenter over to his right. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. The Royals come up with a pair, however, on this two-run home run. We played four, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Ozzie Smith, a hit in two tries for him so far. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. He's really struggled with his command in this game, no doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. Ready once again, Ina Slaughter. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ball. And he comes back with one down and ball in for down. ball three. three ball. Gotta believe that runner from first is gonna be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are gonna be moving. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 pitch home. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3 2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Digging in once again, Rogers Hornsby. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Three and two, full count. And the payoff pitch. And that misses. Ball four, and he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jim Edmonds. One for two in the ball game thus far. Count remains full. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move. Makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. Man, this is a spot where you really want to get greedy as a hitter. Bases loaded, nobody out. You're hoping for that big swing of the bat. What does he get? A sacrifice fly, and only one run scores. I'm sure he wanted more, but he's not going to complain about the RBI. Ready for another shot now. Stan Musial. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. The runners are at first and third. One away. Now it's driven the other way with some authority. Headed toward the foul pole. 
gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. A three-run shot down the line in left. Number 28 on the season as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Now here comes the Royal Skipper up the stairs on his way to the mound, and he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't Ladies have his gentlemen. best stuff Your in this one. Please. Nolan Ryan, a now six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take Number over on the mound. Nolan Ryan. So now to the plate, Albert Pujols. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Sheffield is there, two down. So his day is fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Kansas City starter. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team, and you went out there and laid an egg. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. In his career, Molina has collected just over 150 home runs in his big league days. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he'll go to second here. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's the Cardinals six and the Royals two. Welcome back to Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. We send it down to Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right, Heidi, thank you.